Welcome to episode 1. It is highly recommended that you read the manual first before answering the questions. See the description below to download the manual. Questions and answers are based on Black Tiger Shrimp Pineus Monodon Hatchery Operations Using Enhanced Biosecurity Measures Manual. Choose the best answer. What technique was successfully employed by CIFTEC AQD in 1975 to induce maturation in pinnate shrimps for captive spawning? A. Genetic modification B. Hormone injection C. Eye stock ablation D. Temperature manipulation What technique was successfully employed by CIFDEC AQD in 1975 to induce maturation in pinnate shrimps for captive spawning? C. Eye stock ablation. In 1975, CIFDEC Aquaculture Department successfully spawned pinnate shrimps in captivity through eye stock ablation, which involves the removal of the eye stalks to induce maturation. This technique led to the mass production of fry from ablated breeders in small scale barangay hatcheries. What major factor contributed to the collapse of the shrimp industry in the Philippines from 1996 onwards? A. Genetic mutations B. Lack of government support C. Pollution and disease outbreaks D. International trade restrictions What major factor contributed to the collapse of the shrimp industry in the Philippines from 1996 onwards? C. Pollution and disease outbreaks the collapse of the shrimp industry in the Philippines from 1996 onwards was largely attributed to pollution and disease outbreaks, specifically the white spot syndrome virus and yellowhead virus, which negatively em impacted the aquaculture environment. What was the initial purpose of the black tiger shrimp production before it became a significant aquaculture commodity? A. Seafood export B. Byproduct of milkfish culture C. Traditional medicine. D. Ornamental aquarium trade. What was the initial purpose of the black tiger shrimp production before it became a significant aquaculture commodity? B. Byproduct of milkfish culture. The production of the black tiger shrimp began as an incidental crop in milkfish culture before it became a significant aquaculture commodity. Why are cultured shrimps susceptible to diseases? A. Lack of food B. Lack of water quality control C. Lack of oxygen D. Lack of adaptive immune system Why are cultured shrimps susceptible to diseases? D. Lack of adaptive immune system Cultured shrimps are vulnerable to diseases due to their lack of an adaptive immune system, making them more susceptible to infections and diseases. What was the primary cause of the collapse of the shrimp industry in the Philippines during the 1990s? A. Economic recession B. Natural disasters C. Farm mismanagement D. Luminous vibriosis what was the primary cause of the collapse of the shrimp industry in the Philippines during the 1990s? D. Luminous Vibriosis The collapse of the shrimp industry in the 1990s was primarily caused by the devastating luminous vibriosis, a disease that entered pond culture systems and led to massive losses of stocks and disruptions of pond operations. What impact did over-intensification of shrimp farming have on the industry in the Philippines? A. Decreased demand for shrimps B. Increased profitability C. Negative environmental consequences D. Enhanced disease resistance What impact did over-intensification of shrimp farming have on the industry in the Philippines? C. Negative environmental consequences Overintensification of shrimp farming led to negative environmental consequences including pollution and disease outbreaks, which ultimately contributed to the collapse of the industry. Why should a shrimp hatchery be located far from mouths of rivers or streams? A. To avoid flooding. B. To prevent pollution. C. To ensure easy access. D. To reduce noise pollution. 
Why should a shrimp hatchery be located far from mouths of rivers and streams? B. To prevent pollution. The site for a shrimp hatchery should be far from mouths of rivers or streams to prevent abrupt changes in salinity and to avoid pollution that could affect water quality. What is the ideal pH range for water quality in a black tiger shrimp maturation or hatchery? A. 6.5 to 7 B. 7.8 to 8.2 C. 8.5 to 9 D. 9.2 to 9.5 what is the ideal pH range for water quality in a black tiger shrimp maturation or hatchery? B. 7.8 to 8.2 What is the acceptable range of dissolved oxygen for black tiger shrimp maturation or hatchery? A. Lesser than 1 ppm B. Greater than 4 parts per million C. 2 to 3 parts per million D, 5 to 6 parts per million. What is the acceptable range of dissolved oxygen for black tiger shrimp maturation or hatchery? B, greater than 4 parts per million. What is the maximum allowable concentration of nitrate in the water for black tiger shrimp maturation or hatchery? A, lesser than 1 part per million. B, Lesser than 5 parts per million. C. Lesser than 10 parts per million. D. Lesser than 15 parts per million. What is the maximum allowable concentration of nitrate in the water for black tiger shrimp maturation or hatchery? C. 10 parts per million. Why is it recommended to have a hatchery near the source of spawners or broodstock? A. To increase transport cost. B. To enhance stress on broodstock. C. To reduce stress on broodstock and minimize transport cost. D. To save on electricity consumption. Why is it recommended to have a hatchery near the source of spawners or broodstock? C. To reduce stress on broodstock and minimize transport cost. Placing the hatchery near the source of spawners or broodstock helps reduce stress on the animals during transportation and also minimizes transport costs. What is a crucial factor for a hatchery's accessibility to ensure a smooth operation? A. Proximity to major cities. B. Availability of advanced technology. C. Nearness to tourist attractions. D. Close proximity to roads for transportation. What is a crucial factor for a hatchery's accessibility to ensure a smooth operation? D. Close proximity to roads for transportation. The hatchery should be located near roads for easy transport of feeds, materials, equipment, and for a convenient access by buyers or grow-out farms. What makes the black tiger shrimp a commercially important species? A. Small size. B. Low demand. C. High market prices and strong demand. D. Abundant distribution. What makes the black tiger shrimp a commercially important species? C. High market prices and strong demand. The black tiger shrimp is commercially important due to its high market prices and strong demand in both national and international markets. In which types of waters are the fry, juveniles, and adolescents of Phineas Monodon commonly found? A. Deep ocean waters. B. Freshwater lakes. C. Mangrove estuaries and shore areas. D. Near the river mouths. In which types of waters are the fry, juveniles, and adolescents of Phineas Monodon commonly found? C. Mangrove estuaries and shore areas. Fry, juveniles, and adolescents of Pineus monodon are commonly found in mangrove estuaries and shore areas. What is a distinguishing feature of the protozoa stage in comparison to the nauplius stage? A. Larger size. B. Horizontal movement. C. Elongated body and vertical diagonal swimming. D. Presence of stalked eyes. 
What is the distinguishing feature of the protozoa stage in comparison to the nauplius stage? C. Elongated body and vertical diagonal swimming. The protozoa stage is distinguished from the nauplius stage by its more elongated body and movement characterized by swimming vertically and diagonally towards the water surface.